How do you act around your friends? How do you act around your family? What about your teachers? Even your pets. Do you control your behavior or do other people's expectations control your behavior? Dr. Mark Snyder attempted to answer this question. He conducted an experiment to find out what was true. He thought people automatically sense how others view them and start exhibiting the expected behavior. He had men hold conversations with women on the phone. The men had no idea what the woman they were talking to looked like. Half the men were shown a picture of a woman rated 8 out of 10 and half the men were shown a picture of a woman rated 2 out of 10. The men were not talking to the woman in the photo, but half expected to be talking to the attractive woman and another half expected to be talking to the unattractive woman. Would the woman do what Dr. Mark Snyder had expected them and fit into the stereotype that the man had assigned them? Or would their individual personality determine how they act? After listening to the conversations, Dr. Mark Snyder was right. The woman could unconsciously sense what the man was thinking and exhibited the behavior stereotypically associated with attractive and unattractive people. Attractive people tend to be animated, friendly, and happy about the conversation. Unattractive people tend to be reserved, not as interactive, and uninterested in the conversation. The women conformed to the image that was put on them, despite what they actually looked like. The stereotype of attractiveness was used in this experiment, but it can be applied to nationality, race, gender, and social class. On a TV show, The Voice, the judges' chairs are turned around so that they can't judge the person based on their looks, just on how well they sing. Dr. Mark Snyder's findings show that other people's expectations overpower the person's individual personality. Think about this. We only have control of our expectations of others. So if you can control other people's behavior, how will you make them act? And lastly, in what situations and with whom are you truly yourself?